Hey Rocksmith players, welcome back to another edition of What's New to Rocksmith Plus. We've got some exciting news this month, tons of new music, and new updates to talk about. So let's jump in. Rocksmith Plus is now in more places than ever. On June 6th, Rocksmith Plus launches on PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4, and PC users can now find us on Steam. Just like with current PC and mobile subscriptions, one plan lets you access Rocksmith Plus on all platforms. And on all those available platforms, PlayStation, PC, iOS, and Android, we're also happy to announce that we're now officially available in Japan. To welcome our new players this month, the music team has big plans in store. This June, we're planning to add over 180 new songs, over 150 authentic arrangements, over 200 verified chord charts, new lessons, videos, and more. Our first drop on June 6th adds over 160 new songs for players, making it our biggest single-day song drop since Rocksmith Plus first launched. Three particular artists are featured at the front of this massive collection. Six songs from power metal legends Dragon Force, including Power of the Triforce and their classic hit Through the Fire and Flames. Eight songs from the inimitable shred stylings of Marty Friedman, such as White Worm, and the brand new track, Dead of Winter, and our very own Dr. Capital, from whom we now offer four fantastic and fun songs, such as 3AM Serial. With this month marking our debut of Rocksmith Plus in Japan, this drop was a great opportunity to introduce players worldwide to more music from Japanese artists like Aimyon, Chanmina, Kapsel, Geso no Kiwami Otome, Kobukuro, Minami, Tofu Beats, and others. In a day of debuts, we're excited to welcome Bad Company, Gary Clark Jr., Kenya Grace, Joshua Bassett, James Young, Group Love, Mac Miller, and many more to Rocksmith Plus. And to round things out, we're adding more songs by previously featured artists like Hailstorm, Green Day, Dream Theater, The Doobie Brothers, Leve, Tones and I, and Dead and Company. The next two weeks will be music to a classic rock fan's ears. June 11th will see the addition of tracks by David Lee Roth, and two fantastic renditions of songs made famous by Van Halen in Runnin' With The Devil and Ain't Talkin' About Love. That'll be followed by another artist-centered drop, this time showcasing hitmakers Bad Company. Songs such as Rock and Roll Fantasy, Shooting Star, and Can't Get Enough will solidify their presence in Rocksmith Plus. Joining Feel Like Makin' Love and their title track Bad Company, added earlier on June 6th. And finally, we're rounding out June with a variety pack of well-known hit singles, including Death Cab for Cuties, I Will Follow You Into the Dark, Outcasts, Hey Ya, The Goo Goo Dolls, Iris, and more. Oh, and there's just one more thing. We're excited to announce that starting today, Players in the US and Canada can access the 22 Metallica songs previously added in nearly all other regions. These 22 master recordings include hits like Enter Sandman, Nothing Else Matters, Master of Puppets, For Whom the Bell Tolls, One, The Unforgiven, Fuel, Fade to Black, Sad But True, Welcome Home Sanitarium, Battery, Ride the Lightning, Seek and Destroy, and more. To support our monstrous song drop at the beginning of the month, we're highlighting two of our featured artists with their own dedicated song lists. Artist Spotlight Marty Friedman and Artist Spotlight Dragon Force both house powerful collections of songs. Take your chops to new heights by learning alongside these metal masters. On June 11th, we'll release the Celebrating Pride Month song list, focusing on artists and songs which embody themes such as love and diversity. Play along with Elton John, Cyndi Lauper, George Michael, Ricky Martin, 
Girl in Red, and many more. You'll be able to find all the songs we added throughout June in our new This Month song list. We challenge you to try them all. On the video front, dive into Coldplay's Clocks with the newest episode of Rocksmith Riff Review. And of course, a new month brings new lessons for all instruments. Guitarists can master slash chords in a new lesson on the rhythm path with host Sebastian. Bassists can dive into slapping and popping with bass master Nick. For our pianists and keyboardists out there, join host Phil as he breaks down stretching and shifting octaves. Then keep your journey across the keys going with Sarah and a new lesson on hand crossing. And last but not least, we have a few new features and improvements in this update. We've gotten feedback from new players who want more direction and guidance when they learn with Rocksmith Plus. The introduction of our onboarding challenges was a start, but we're continuing to work on that goal this month. The first thing you'll notice is that the main hub has been redesigned a bit. We've surfaced more info previously within the user dashboard to make it easier to check your progress and track certain playing stats and metrics, like your playing streak. Interacting with these stats will also expand the dashboard, like before, for even more info. And over time, we hope to add more trackable stats for you to follow. We've also made it easier to continue playing directly from the main hub with the addition of three new options. Tackling challenges, taking lessons, or playing through a new introductory song list. The new challenges option is where you can check out the onboarding challenges, which we've expanded in this update with two new stages to complete, focusing on skill building and achieving more ambitious goals. But in addition to the static onboarding challenges, we've also added daily challenges that offer new, small goals to work towards every time you play. This can include improving your mastery on a song you're working on, trying a new practice tool in Rocksmith Plus, completing lessons, or trying new songs. As the name suggests, these three challenges refresh daily, so you'll always have something new to work towards. This is just the start for challenges, so stay tuned for future updates on this feature. Aside from seeing your challenges, you can also choose to continue whatever lesson path you're currently on, or to start one if you don't have one in progress. By making it faster and easier to continue lessons, we hope players find it easier to stay on top of learning by keeping them top of mind. And finally, Players can play a recommended song from our new introductory song list. This choice is geared towards beginner players who aren't sure where to go or what to play to get started. This is a specially curated list designed to show players the songs that are great for getting familiar with Rocksmith Plus, as well as their own instruments. And it's not just about the song selection. This list is set in a particular order to ramp players up as they grow. Like the onboarding challenges, these are the same for all players. Right now, Intermediate and advanced players may not find this as useful, but they're fun picks for everyone. We encourage everyone to give these songs a try to see for themselves. And don't worry, we still plan to add more song options for higher skill levels in future updates. Whew, that was a lot to cover. If you're just joining us, you can expect one of these What's New video updates each month, giving you a recap of all the new songs, lessons, and features arriving that month. Happy practicing, and rock on! Ready for more? Check out our next video.